cube numbers. In this nugget, the learning objective is to recognise and calculate cube numbers. A cube number is the result of multiplying a number by itself and then itself again. So let's start with 2. We're going to multiply it by itself and then itself again. So first of all, let's start with 2 times 2. That's 4. And then we need to times 2 again. So we do 4 times 2. And that is 8. So 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. 8 is a cube number. If we make a large cube, that is 2 cubes in length, width, and height, it would be made up of 8 cubes all together. And this is how we write 2 cubed. 2 cubed equals 8. Now let's find out what 3 cubed is. To work it out, we need to multiply 3 by itself and then itself again. Let's start with 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. If we were making a cube, this would give us the base. And then, to make our shape into a cube, we'd have to make it 3 cubes in height as well. So to work out how many cubes we've got all together, we need to do 9 times 3. This is 27. So 3 cubed equals 27. So 1 cubed is just 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. Now it's your turn to calculate 4 cubed. Pause the video and have a go. So well done if to calculate 4 cubed you did 4 times 4 times 4. Starting with just 4 times 4, that's 16, and then 16 times 4. You may have partitioned 16 to make it easier for you. So if you partitioned it into 10 and 6 and did 10 times 4 equals 40, and 6 times 4 equals 24, and added them together to get 64, very well done. 4 cubed equals 64. As the numbers get larger, the calculations become a little more challenging. So now let's try 5 cubed. To work out 5 cubed, we need to do 5 times 5 times 5. Let's start with 5 times 5. That's 25. And then we need to multiply this by 5. We can use partitioning to help us out. 25 can be partitioned into 20 and 5. 20 times 5 is 100. 5 times 5 is 25. If we add these two parts together, we get 125. This is 5 times 5 times 5. So 5 cubed is 125. Now it's your turn again. See if you can calculate 6 cubed. Pause the video and have a go. So 6 cubed is the same as 6 times 6 times 6. So you should have started with 6 times 6. That's 36. And then you should have done 36 times 6. You could have partitioned 36 to make it easier into 30 and 6. 30 times 6 is 180. 6 times 6 is 36. Add them together to get 216. So 6 cubed is 216. So remember, a cube number is just the result of multiplying a number by itself and then itself again.